Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. So Dwarf Fortress on Steam has just been released and unfortunately there is no native macOS version, unlike the free version of Dwarf Fortress which does have a macOS build. However, you might want to play the Steam version because it comes with a lot of quality of life fixes, for example improved graphics, mouse support, and it's an opportunity to help support the original Bay 12 developers who have been developing this game for a really long time. So today what I'm going to do is to show you how to run the Windows version of this game on macOS. We're going to be using the compatibility layer called crossover and what we're going to do is to show you how to install crossover and then install steam and how to buy dwarf fortress and then get it running on your apple silicon mac so if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest mac gaming tutorials so if you click on the link in the description you're going to be taken straight to the store page and you're going to have a 25 percent promo code automatically applied to the store page if you do decide to make a purchase then i'll receive a small commission and you'll be helping to support this channel and the videos that i create. So this means that when you make a purchase of the standard Crossover Plus, which comes with 12 months of support, you're automatically going to have a 25% discount applied. So what I do recommend doing here is clicking the Buy Now button and then making a purchase of the software. Or alternatively today, what we're going to do is try out Crossover Free. This allows you to make use of the 14 day free trial. And once you've decided to make a purchase, you can just follow the link again, and then you can get this 25% discount. So here we're going to press Try Now just to see what it's like. And then I'm going to scroll down. So all you need to do is to enter your name and email address and then you can go ahead and download the trial. So it's saying here that Crossover Mac download has started. So once the download's complete, we're going to go ahead and minimize this. Then we're going to go to Finder and then we're going to go to our downloads folder. So once the file's downloaded, we're going to have the crossover.zip and what we're going to do is to double click and then extract this application. So once the file has extracted, what we're going to do is to drag and drop this into our applications folder and then let go. So we're going to go to applications and then scroll down and then we're going to find Crossover. So just double click on this to launch it for the first time. So it's saying, are you sure you want to open this app? Press open. And now Crossover 22 has installed and it's asking us what applications what we want to install. So the very first thing I'm going to show you is how to install Steam. So I'm going to click on this Steam icon or you can do a search for it at the top here and you can click on the Steam icon here. And then we have the option here on the top right hand side to click the install button. And then this is automatically going to create what's called a bottle and then it's going to install the Steam application. We're going to follow through the various steps. So we're going to get various prompts to install certain things, for example, fonts, basically just press yes and then next onto every single window to complete the setup process. Here it's installing the parser setup, press next, I accept, then next, next, install, finish. So now we have the Windows Steam setup installer here, we're going to press next, select our language, select the default location and press install. Now we can go ahead and run Steam. Now we have the Windows Steam login page opened up here. So you're going to log in with your Steam account, or if you don't have one already, then just create a free account here. So now that the Windows version of Steam is installed, basically any game that you can download here is going to be the Windows version running through the crossover compatibility layer. And this is going to allow a ton of games to install and play on Apple Silicon and Macs, which weren't previously available. So now what we're going to do is click the store button here, and then we're going to do a search for Dwarf Fortress. So click on the link here at the top of the search results. And here we can see that we have the Steam store page. So we're going to do a scroll down and you can see here that this is a Windows only game. So the only real way we're going to be able to run this is through a compatibility layer. So I'm going to buy the Windows version of this game and then what we're going to do is purchase this for myself so that we can add it onto our Steam account. So now that we've made a purchase, what we're going to do is go to the library and then we're going to search for Dwarf Fortress and then select this here and then we're going to press the install button and basically we're going to allow it to install in its default location press next and now this is downloading so it's not a very big game so just let that complete it's only 277 megabytes so this should just take a moment we can press the play button here or we can also go back to the library do another search for dwarf fortress and then launch the game from here so i'm going to press the play button now and it's saying here that it's installing the microsoft vc redistributable just let that finish and now it started to load up so here we can go to settings change any resolution settings that you want, change any of the grid settings, etc. It all seems to be working pretty well under the crossover compatibility layer. So it's even detected all of the available Mac resolutions. You can use the scroll wheel to find which resolution works for you. And then we can press done. And what we're going to do now is to start a new game. And here we're going to generate a new world. I'm going to press create world here. And now this is loading up a new world for the first time. So this version of the game has all of the improved graphics and UI compared to the free version, which you can still download a Mac version for. However, this seems to work pretty 
well even under the crossover, even running through wine under crossover. On the top left here you can see the history is being generated, there don't seem to be any kind of graphical issues. So here we're going to play the fortress mode and then here we're going to start the tutorial and now we're going to press go ahead and now I'm going to press ok and basically we can go ahead and play the entire Dwarf Fortress game. So now this is how you get the full Windows version of Dwarf Fortress on Steam working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. As far as I can tell this works pretty much perfectly. If you discover any issues or bugs then please make sure to leave a comment. Now I hope you found this video useful. If you did please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.